Hello, welcome back to our series on matrix. Today we will learn about elementary operations of matrix. We've seen operations like addition, subtraction and multiplication of matrix in our earlier videos. What elementary operations means is there are three sets of operations when done on a matrix it does not change the nature of the matrix. When I say the nature of the matrix does not change the nature of the equations underlying the matrix does not change if we do any of these elementary operations okay there are three such operations applicable on rows and columns so you apply any of these three operations on the rows the nature of the matrix does not change you apply them on columns to the columns of a matrix again the nature of the matrix does not change let's learn those operations one by one the first operation is if you interchange any two rows or columns of a any two rows or columns of a matrix the nature of the matrix does not change what it means is if a is a matrix then we have row 1 row 2 row 3 there are three rows for this matrix the nature of this matrix does not change if we do suppose say interchange R1 with R2 right so which means we do 2 3 and R1 becomes takes the place place of row 2 and row 3 remains same okay so this operation is actually denoted as R1 with an arrow pointing to R2. What it means is we have interchanged row 1 with row 2 between row 2. Similarly, we said if these are column 1, column 2 and column 3, right? interchanging columns also do not change the nature of the matrix. What it means is suppose we do C2, C3, which means if we do it on the original matrix, it will become 0, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, which is this column, right? We are replacing it on the column 2's place and in place of C3, we will write C2, okay? The nature of the matrix, so the all these matrices are equivalent matrices, okay? You should also remember that the second operation of column interchanging column can also be done on this and we'll still get a same nature of the matrix which means a is also equal to suppose i do the column interchange for this right then it becomes 1 0 3 3 2 1 2 1 1 okay so what's the importance of these elementary operations operations helps us to calculate the inverse of a matrix without having to do elaborate calculations. We will learn that in the next series of videos but in this video we will learn about two more elementary operations of a matrix. The second elementary operation says multiplication of elements of a row or a column by non-zero number does not alter the nature of the matrix. What it means is if we let's go back to the same matrix that we used in the previous example R1, R2 and this is R3. There are three rows, right? We can multiply any of the row by a non-zero number. You will get the same matrix. The nature of the matrix does not get altered. Suppose say let's multiply R1 becomes 3 times R1, okay? Which means this whole row, this whole row gets multiplied by 3. 0 into 3, 0. 1 into 3, 3, 2 into 3, 6 and the rest of the elements remain same, okay? This essentially yields the same matrix. You can actually say they are equal, okay? We can actually do the same elementary operation on columns as well. So let's say uh, we take this column and then multiply it by 2. So this is a C3, right? C1, C2, C3. Now, let's say on the original matrix we do 
C3 becomes 2 times C3, right? What will we get? 2 times this is 4, this is 6, this is 2, and the rest of the columns remain same. So this is what is called the second elementary operation, right? Like the first rule, here also we can do consecutive elementary operations on the same matrix and arrive at different forms of matrices which are equivalent okay in the third elementary operation of a matrix is addition of to the elements of a row or column the corresponding elements of another row or column multiplied by non-zero number gives the same nature of a matrix does not alter the nature of the matrix what it means is if we take the same example matrix suppose say this time we'll do with columns c1 c2 c3 what it says is if we replace c1 that is c1 becomes c1 plus 2 let's say c3 then the matrices remain equivalent what it means is c1 becomes c1 plus 2 c3 so c1 is 0 first element is to get the first element 0 plus 2 times c3 which is 2 times 2 4 1 plus 2 times c3 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 and 3 plus 2 times of c3 which is 1 into 2 2 so this gives 5 and the remaining columns remain same all right uh, like we said in the previous two elementary operations, you can do consequent operations on the resultant matrix and still the result will be equivalent. Let's do it on this and see R1, R2, R3. Right? So here, suppose say we say R1 is transformed to R1 plus R2. Here, we are not multiplying the elements of R2 by anything but 1 itself, right? A non-zero number, it's not a zero number, non-zero number. Remember, elementary operations need to have non-zero numbers, otherwise it will be wrong, right? Now, R1, it gets replaced with R1 plus R2, so 4 plus 7 is 11, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 7, 2, and 3, this is a 5 and the remaining rows remain same so what we have learned is we can do an operation on a given row or a given column and keep the nature of the matrix same we will see in the next video how to use elementary operations of matrix and arrive at the inverse of a matrix thank you keep watching MathSmart. subscribe to MathSmart to know when we post a new video thank you